you guys. So I almost decided not to do an unboxing video for this, but man, when I opened it, it's like, man, way too nice not to share with you guys. This oil pan is sick. So let's go inside and let's show you guys. All right, it's my buddy Richie, guys. Just, uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, kind of new bolts too, eh? So they gave us the, uh, I think these are... Sick. Yeah, that's pretty sick, man. All right, so some of you guys are probably wondering why I'm actually replacing the oil pan. So HKS claims that this oil pan is 30% more rigid and stronger than the factory oil pan. And of course, the reason why I'm changing it, it looks sick, you guys. This is pure eye candy. And these are the bolts that comes with the, uh, the whole kit itself. Of course, they're super long and stainless steel I believe and the factory ones are these ones and apparently they say the factory ones are known to strip like really easy so yeah it is a good idea to actually replace them you guys as in comparison wise let's go have a look if you look at the factory oil pan it's just really really thin and it actually has a little bit of weight to it um, and in comparison to a weight wise even though this is much, much bigger and thicker. There is a little bit of weight to this, even though it's, it's a cast aluminum. Uh, it's not a billet or anything like that. Unlike other companies that will do like in a, in a billet aluminum, this is a cast aluminum. It does feel really light, but it actually has a little bit of weight to it, you guys. The other cool thing that they included is if you want to run an aftermarket oil cooler, they do have all the holes or cutouts already for it and uh, it does retain the factory uh, oil filler uh, tube and the other thing they included in incorporated into this uh, oil pan is they have channels that lead up to where the oil pickup uh, filter is and it channels all the oil in there it's pretty cool that's a nice and another nice feature since you have the oil pan off you might as well just change the oil filter here which is the pan filter and there's an inline filter right behind there and a lot of guys don't replace it while they're changing out their transmission fluid so yeah it's a good idea to change that out and that one there this is the, another one that a lot of the dealerships don't even know about it's called the inline filter you guys ah uh, you can get my face no no care. no i'll keep your face out of there in, just in case it ruins i want to break the camera anyway yeah i know it ruins it you say hey. this car is such a diva that it needs two guys to put an oil pan on yeah man that's how much this car is it's always good to have two hands, my friend. Yeah, I know. It's such a shame that it's such a nice oil pan that you never get to see. That's all good. <laughs> you never get to see it. Don't mind my friend, you guys. He's camera shy. He doesn't want to be on the camera. So, yeah. I respect his wishes, so that's why he's not in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, don't worry, Rich. I, I know I'm good. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> I love bugging my friend. How much? Uh, how much foot pounds or foot? Uh, pounds? Nine foot pounds. Nine, nine foot pounds. Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Newtons, right? Newtons. Yeah. It's not a whole lot of torque. No, it's not. Yeah. Only the good stuff, you guys. Electric torque. <laughs> For me, you guys, I hand tighten with my hands. <laughs> Apparently, Richie found a whole bunch of bolts that I, I guess I didn't tighten up or they came loose, you guys. Well, that's my bad. So the oil pan is in and that's pretty straightforward just got to torque it down to specifications and now we're gonna go ahead and fill it up I can't say enough you guys how nice this oil pan is this is a shame that a lot of this stuff that you do you modify like the control arms and you know all this stuff it's just absolutely gorgeous but the only problem is you never get to see it and appreciate how beautiful this stuff is like HKS makes beautiful beautiful 
products you guys and of course the oil pan is one of them and yeah it's just a shame that you just can't show it off just the amount of work that you put into it like the lines and all this stuff yeah it's just a shame but yeah absolutely gorgeous you guys this car is such a diva it takes two guys to pump oil into the uh, transmission <laughs> look at that only the best eh only the best How do you like that pump, Richie? I like it actually. <laughs> it's actually quite fast, to be honest. Yeah, 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 homemade, man. Is it really? Yeah, homemade. Yeah, just one one of those. Um, what do you call those? Penis pump? <laughs> oh. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, I I got it from like a, um, a detail company. Oh yeah, it's good though. I like and it. It's for like uh, ethanol, oh, not ethanol, uh, isopropyl alcohol mm -hmm. and cleaning solutions and stuff. All right, works out. Works awesome. It really does. All right, guys. So we have to cut this little lip here or this little channel here so that it can accommodate the new oil pan. So just this lip here. So to here? Yeah. That's perfect. It's amazing when you got the right tools, how easy the job is. I think I'd be there with my scissors right now, you guys. Still hacking away. Just like how it would be right from the factory, you guys. So since I have it on this hoist, you guys, so I decided to remove this aftermarket brace. When I bought the car, it came with the car and it just, it gave me a lot of headaches when I was trying to remove or install the oil cooler here. So I decided just, you know what? I'm just going to take it off. I don't even know if it does anything, you guys. It's more looks than anything. But yeah. And it gives me a lot more clearance. Because I notice every time I go over a speed bump, there's always these bolts here. And the actual bar itself actually hits a lot of the uh, the bumps. So it's going to give me a lot more clearance. I only got rid of it, you guys. So much. It, it is light, but yeah, you don't need it. Into the garbage. All right, you guys, so I'm pretty much done the install. And as you can see, it's actually really, really easy. But I kind of want to show you guys the actual factory uh, oil pan here. And even though it looks pretty light, it's, uh, it's, it has a little bit of weight to it. So the factory oil pan is obviously, a, I believe it's steel. Um, it looks pretty light, but it's, uh, it's pretty heavy. And in comparison to the HKS oil pan, uh, the HKS oil pan looks relatively a lot more beefier and heavier than this one but i think this one is heavier all right you guys so i want to end off the vlog hope you guys enjoyed it going to get the car prepped up and ready for driven next week if you guys are going to be there if you guys are come check it out check out the car in person quick note if you guys are interested in any of these car parts or anything like that check out envision auto imports uh they'll be happy to just help you guys out with any car part all right so enjoy the rest of the week you guys we'll see you guys at driven see ya